Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. This is it, my final review of the Ben 10 reboot, for the time being. I did my best to stick it out this long, and with no new episodes on the horizon scheduled, I decided to drop the show from my review schedule. I'm just not having fun reviewing this show anymore. Ben 10's revival, if you can call it that, just doesn't hit the right notes for me. To pull a random metaphor out of my jacket, the previous Ben 10 series are Dr. Pepper, and Ben 10 2016 is flat Dr. Pepper. That's also been left out in your car during the hottest day of the year. And it's time for me to stop pretending it tastes as good as it did before I left it in the car and throw it into the trash. Before I can do that though, I have to struggle through one final review. It's been out for probably a couple of weeks already, but I'm only just now getting around to episode 20, Don't Let the Bass Drop. For the episode that I'm dropping the show on, it's not actually all that bad. At least, not in the sense that there's anything specific I can point to and yell, THIS IS WHAT'S WRONG WITH THE EPISODE! Rather, the entire show has remained bland and boring, even carrying through into this episode, despite a really interestingly designed villain. That villain being Daft Punk. Oh, sorry, I meant to say Lord Decibel. Thin parody or not, that's not a bad villain name, and I really liked his music-themed powers. I think a lot of fun could be had with a villain who doesn't necessarily rely on brute force, but instead sound waves. Maybe instead of using amps and speakers like in this episode, he'll come back with shocker-esque devices on his arms. But then that might take away from the whole Daft Punk thing he's got going on. Like I said, there's nothing obviously wrong with this episode. It is what it is. Ben and Gwen weirdly get along again, sharing the same love of a musician, and go to an Earth Day concert, which surprisingly has nothing to do with Earth Day. Q, random bad guy with no clear motivation, and you've got Ben and Gwen trying to stop him despite not being able to hear each other or call for help. While not consistently engaging all the time, the battle against Lord Decibel does have its moments, such as Gwen teaching Ben about nodes and using that to their advantage. It calls to mind my review of the original Ben 10 episode, Tourist Trap, which also featured actual science being used to save the day. As I said back in that review, I don't mind cartoon logic from time to time, but there's something to be said about heroes who use real-world logic to solve their problems in cartoons, especially these days when it's no longer the norm. As my final review for the time being, I do want to deliver some final parting words about this series, although I may end up doing so again later on down the line. I had a lot of hope for this series going into it. I almost had to because of my cartoon hangout mission statement, which is showing people that not all modern cartoons suck just for being new. Unfortunately, the series started off poorly, seemed to improve, and then almost constantly got stuck in the same rut over and over again. I understand that not every show, even my favorites, will have 10 out of 10 episodes every single time, but you do have to call a show out when the quality of a show is accurately represented as a series of road bumps. You get a few minutes of smooth terrain before hitting another series of bumps that rattle your teeth. Of course, as an adult, my opinion won't matter to the people over at Cartoon Network. So what do I know? But what did you think of the episode? Because I actually do care what you think. Are you enjoying the reboot or did you jump ship before I did, you smart little cookie? Let me know down below. And if you are enjoying these reviews and you are enjoying the show or at least want me to keep reviewing the Ben 10 reboot series, I'd love to hear from you too. For more Cartoon Hangout goodness, watch all my past Ben 10 reboot reviews here or check out my review of the atrocious Cartoon Network Battle Crashes video game here. Thanks for watching and take care.